Marvelous Muses. How are we doing tonight, guys? So tonight we're going to play with UV Resin. It's UV Resin Wednesday. And I'm going to use my ring blanks that I got off of Timu. Uh, I did get my cup finish. I'm not using it right now because somebody had told me in the comment section to wait 72 hours to use it. So, said something about it being a health risk. So, uh, tonight we're going to do the ring blanks. Uh, I'm going to make Cody a couple rings and I'm going to make myself one. Uh, I got these off of Timu. They come in different sizes. They have 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, I think. And maybe 12. I don't know. They, it goes up. And, uh, here we go. Let me look. Yeah, it goes up to 12. From 7 to 12. Well, I wear a 7. Cody apparently wears a 9 and a 10, depending on which finger he wears it on. So, he wanted a bluish purple and a white on that on a ring so that's what we're going to do i'm going to take a little bit of chameleon powder here I have the silver blue purple and i have a little bit of white let's resin pigment and i'm going to mix up just a tiny bit of white it's not going to take much we're going to try this You're going to try to do this, guys. Alright, so that's it there. Alright. And let's see here. Just a little bit of the chameleon powder here. I have y'all zoomed in on the turner. So you can see better. One teeny tiny drop of the white. We got here. Oh yeah. This is plenty dark. And then we're gonna do just a tiny tiny bit of this chameleon powder. Oh my little spoons here. That's not that one. It's not going to take much of this at all. Not going to take much at all. Mix that about like that. About like that, maybe. Very pretty. So I'm using, uh, right now I have my J-Diction. No, I don't. I'll take it back. Sorry. I have the Let's Resin. High viscosity resin, which is a thick resin, so it's not going to, like, run right off the ring. So I'm going to turn on the ring turner. I'm going to go the other way with it. So. We are going to start out here. I don't want to use that. Are we still in camera here? Did I move you guys? Nope, I moved you off. See? There we go. Alright, so we're going to use... What do we have hair on here? There we go.
fireworks stuff. Two days later, still fireworks, guys. Another one. I heard it before it went off. Fired up. Woo. I can hear them poof. I can hear that poof sound when they take off. All right. Now I want to add a little bit Okay. What do we think, guys, so far? Alright, let me get my toothpick. There we go. So I can see already I need a bit more of the of his blue in there. Of the chameleon pigments. he wanted to ask for purple and gold but I think he thought I didn't want to do purple and gold so I'm doing him two rings and I'm gonna do his other one in purple and gold because I know those are his favorite colors Tape and I'm going to go right here along this edge. Alright. So. Take my little UV light right here. Boom, I heard another one. <laughs> I heard another one. So I've got some in my cart. I can't wait. I want to. I think I'm gonna end up getting them off of Amazon. That are five different colors. Yeah. Black, blue, gold, silver, and rose gold. And you can order like your sizes. So I mine's a seven. I can order the whole package is a seven. Is a size seven, and I I think they're just cool as heck, so I kind of want to do them. Pretty cool here, guys. Let's see. Have you seen an area where I don't have a whole lot of this blue? Perfect. 
Okay, I'm going to put you guys on a pause right quick. I'm going to cure it. We're going to come back and give it a clear coat. Okay, guys, we're back. So now I'm going to add some clear to the top. Very pretty. Got a little bit of cleanup to do on the edge, the, this right side of the ring. But it looks pretty even. It looks pretty even there, guys. I hope the video is good enough. I know zoomed in, it's not great, but it's kind of like hard to get zoomed in otherwise I may try to bring the camera down a little bit more on the next ring and see if we can bring it closer so I don't have to zoom in as much see what happens there see what happens there guys I'm going to give this just a little bit more curing with the lamp. I'm going to take it off. We're going to put the next one on. I'll bring you back for it. Uh, we'll do his purple and gold one next. And then, uh, like I said, I'll bring you guys back for that. And then I will do mine, and we will, I'll show you all of them together at the end, okay? So I'm going to put you guys on a pause again. I'll be right back. Okay, I tried moving it. I don't know if that's going to make it any better or not, guys. Like I said, I'm trying to make it where you guys can see the ring being turned as I'm doing it. But my camera apparently is, like, not wanting to focus on it. Let's see if I can get it to focus right here. Maybe? I don't know. I doubt that helped. <laughs> I, don't think it, I don't think it helped at all, but... I promise I'll show you guys up close so you can see them where they're not blurry. I will show you guys a better shot of them. Promise, promise, guys. I'm sorry. Someday I will get my camera issues fixed. said I know those are his two favorite colors and I'm a, I knew he kind of wanted to ask for one but you could see the look on my face I knew I could tell what he was fixing to ask for I think he thought I was going to be upset by it but I'm like you like what you like you know so he's like oh, I'll, I'll do blue but maybe blue on a more of a purple side and some white but not very much white I'm like okay But I knew deep down he was wanting to say, I want purple and gold. <laughs> I'm going to take 
little bit more in here. Don't think I need it really, but I'm going to put a little bit more in. There we go. All right. Okay, so we're going to do this one. Thank you guys for all the well wishes last night. So, no news today. Which, no news isn't bad news, you know? So that's a good thing. And I appreciate everybody's, you know, offer if I need somebody to talk to. And when I get to that point, get ready for that point, I will definitely reach out, guys. But right now, I'm kind of dealing it in the way I know how to deal with it. means trying to stay busy, trying to keep a somewhat positive outlook on it, even though I know the prognosis isn't great, you know, and I know the odds are not in the favor, but I definitely want to still try to keep up hope, you know, who knows, maybe she's just going to start feeling better and actually have a friend here whose sister-in-law was in hospice a week ago they weren't giving her any time they were like oh she's not gonna make it they were all upset they were like oh my god what are we gonna do you know they were all freaking out over it guys she is like making a recovery. She called my sister in law. I mean, my her, called her sister in law and talked to her yesterday, and she was making a pie. And this was a woman a week ago was on a hospice, and they didn't think she was going to do anything. So, you know, granted, my mom's ninety two, but still. You know, she had never been in really bad, bad health. She's had a lot of issues, like she's fallen. This nursing home has let her fall. They, she fell out of bed two years ago, and they broke her leg, and she laid there all night with a broken leg. They never took her to the emergency room. My brother came in the next day, realized what had happened, and immediately they took her to the hospital, and her leg was broke. So he started a lawsuit against them and didn't move her. And so the lawyers were like, you need to move her. If not, they're going to, you know, you don't want to sue these people while she's there. And the only reason he hasn't is because she's had the same roommate, this woman that loves her to death. And my mom loves this woman for a long time now, for several, several, several years, probably. Well, since the last time I saw her. So I'm going to say this woman has probably been her roommate for seven or eight years at least, if not more, maybe. And, uh, honestly, guys, a lot of these nursing homes aren't, it's not going to be a lot of difference, you know. So, I tried to get her to come move in with me down here, 
before she had broken her leg and her hip and all that. And she just didn't want to leave Oklahoma. I tried to get her to move to Kentucky when I was there. Again, she didn't want to leave there. And it's not like I can't say, well, this is her home. She's lived there her whole life. No, we lived, we moved, we went to Oregon. We went to, we lived in New Mexico for a while. We lived in Kansas for a while. Uh, she lived in Texas for a while. So it's not like my mother didn't move when she was, you know, over her lifetime. She didn't just stay in one city her whole life. So I can't be like, oh, well, she grew up in Oklahoma. So that's why she didn't want to leave there. No. So that wasn't it. She, I think she just... I don't know, she didn't want to leave my brother, my youngest brother. And my older brother lived in Oklahoma, not in the same town, but he still lived there close. So I think she wanted to stay close to them. Oh, that one's pretty, guys. Cody's going to like that one for sure. I don't know, let me put some clear on here. <laughs> we haven't had that in a while, huh, guys? Haven't had the train in a while. If anybody here is new, they're probably thinking, what is she talking about? Yeah, I have a train that goes by, and it was kind of a thing when I first started my channel. And a train would come by. I would be like, train, train. Yeah, here, there we go. All right. That looks pretty good. Alright, I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to cure this right quick and we'll be back. Alright guys, we're back. Now now for my ring. And on my ring I'm doing Disco Teal Fine Glitter and Black UV Resin. Uh, I've already got my resin by black in here. I think I'm going to put the Disco Teal on first. A little bit of it. A little bit of it first. Little bit first, and then we'll. black here Turner's turning wonky here. That's a Turner. It's because I didn't have the foam. I don't have a small enough piece to go in there.
There we go. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Very much so. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite. Oh, I love it. I love it. pretty very very pretty guys I like this I'm gonna let this cure for a good couple minutes here and then I'm gonna add on just a little bit of clear on top of here and and I'm going to cure them all really, really well, and I will bring you guys back, and I'll get you a really nice shot of them. I apologize. Like I said, the turner's kind of blurry, but I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing. Even if it's not super clear, at least you can see what I'm doing, and you have an idea. You can also do these on, like, a stick. I've seen Steve McDonald do it, just holding a stick and turning it. Uh, I have, like, a, uh, it's the ring sizing stick. You can put it on there and just turn that while you're doing it and cure it. Especially if you have one of these little UV lights like this, you can just cure it as you go. You can just cure it as you go. Oh, I love that. That's my, my ring. My ring. <laughs> I'm excited. I love that color. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be sporting this tomorrow. I have to go to the grocery store and go drop a package off at UPS. So. I will be wearing my ring. And I have my Marvelous Artsy shirt that I'll be wearing tomorrow as well. Probably my purple one with this color glitter. My favorite shirt I think I've worn it several times. I like the blue and white one too. I might wear it tomorrow. But I love that purple one with the turquoise glitter, sparkly glitter. Thank you, April. I love that shirt so much. Love it two pieces. In fact, I wore it the other day to the pool. And everybody was like, oh my god, that's such a cool shirt. Where did you get that? I told them one of my amazing subscribers, aka muses, aka friend. Because I do consider you guys friends as well. You know, we talk. We it's it's great. We talk on emails and texts and comments on here. I try to reply to comments, especially if you ask me a question. Sometimes, depending on how late it is and what my mindset is at the time, I may not respond back to every question, but I go through and I like them all. If there's ever a question you want to ask me and I, you don't get a response, it's probably because I don't see the questions. If I, if it's like, I see the initial one, but say I comment on it, or I like it, and then you ask me something else, or you comment, reply back to me, I don't see those unless I go into YouTube itself, I don't see them in my YouTube studio, so, uh, if there's ever anything important that you want to ask me, just shoot me an email, my email's in the description box, guys, it's easy, it's marvelousartsy at gmail.com, and I check that couple times a day so you should get a response out of me a lot quicker that way all right guys I'm gonna put this on put you on pause I'm gonna cure this really well I'm gonna take these all off make sure everybody's cured good and I'll be back to show you the finished product 
Hi guys. Okay, so we're back. So here's Cody's. This is the purple and gold glitter. I wish my phone would show up better. I'm going to back it up just a little bit here. There we go. Purple and gold glitter. Here's the other one. There's the white and the chameleon powders. And then this one is mine. I love mine best. Oh. <laughs> Very pretty. Tried to put it on something where you guys could see them better. Hoping that that would help, but apparently it doesn't. Alright. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. Um, again, I apologize for the not great focus on the ring turner itself, but like I said, I really want to be able to show you what I was doing the process and kind of how I was doing it. So, I want to thank everybody who's bought me a coffee, anybody who's liked and commented and subscribed. I appreciate you guys so much. So, so much. Um... All my affiliate links are in the description box below. So if you guys need anything off of Amazon, off Timu, off Washi Tape Shop. Uh, I have a Let's Resin affiliate link. I have a, a Resonators, res, resonators, resonators uh, link as well. So if you guys need anything like that, just use the links, guys. Um, I will put the link in the description box for these ring molds. And, uh, the pigments are just my chameleon powders, my Let's Resin chameleon powders. Actually, no, I think it's just three color. It's, this one is just a chameleon powder I bought off of Amazon. Um, so, hope everybody has a wonderful night. I hope you all are happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. I hope your resin cures beautifully, your craft projects turn out amazing. And, I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.